the many controversial brands Kim Kardashian supported over the years after sparking fury by posing in Balenciaga campaign. Being one of the biggest stars on the planet, Kim Kardashian is certainly no stranger to controversy. The makeup mogul has been the center of scandal numerous times over the years thanks to some highly problematic ad campaigns that she's participated in in the divisive brands that she's aligned herself with. Most recently, she posed for Balenciaga, despite the clothing company receiving immense criticism one year prior for releasing a set of images that showed children posing alongside a slew of BDSM-related items. Kim initially faced backlash for refusing to cut ties with the brand and praising the way it handled the scandal, despite her claiming to be shaken and disgusted by the images. Now, she has made her loyalty clear by participating in its latest ad for Balenciaga's upcoming summer 2024 collection, and this isn't the first time that she's stuck with a brand despite it being embroiled in scandal. She's been a longtime supporter of fashion house Dolce & Gabbana, despite the company being accused of racism and homophobia, which even once led to singer Elton John urging people to join him in boycotting it. Kim also faced criticism in the past for promoting controversial products like appetite suppressants and meal replacements to her legion of followers, some of which had very little evidence supporting that they even work. As the Skims founder subjects herself to fierce criticism over her involvement in the new Balenciaga campaign, Female went ahead and routed up all the other times Kim has been slammed for promoting not-so-favorable products or companies. Kim recently featured in a brand new Balenciaga ad almost a year after the brand became embroiled in child BDSM scandal that rocked the fashion world. She posed in a black latex dress and knee-high boots for the brand's latest campaign. Back in November 2022, the fashion house came under fierce fire after it released an ad that showed kids posing alongside various BDSM-themed items. Afterwards, the Skims founder, who'd been in business with the company for several years before that, refused to cut ties with Balenciaga, but said that she was shaken and disgusted by the images. She said in an Instagram post, I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been shocked and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to their team to understand for myself how this could have happened. However, Kim went on to say that she was comfortable with how the company reacted to the scandal, adding, I appreciate Balenciaga's removal of the campaigns and Apology. One month later, during an appearance on the Angie Martinez IRL podcast, she expressed frustration over the public's reaction to her statement. She said, People got mad that she didn't call for the brand to be cancelled. Back in 2015, when Kim was pregnant with Sun Saint, she promoted a prescription drug dedicated to helping alleviate morning sickness on her Instagram, and it resulted in her receiving a firestorm of criticism from her followers, especially after the FDA branded her post as misleading. She shared a photo of herself holding the bottle of Diclegis, a reformulated version of a pill that was pulled from shelves in the 1980s after widespread fears that it may have caused birth defects, claiming that she had used it and that she was so excited and happy with the results. The government was quick to slam the reality star for plugging the pill without warning her millions of fans about the potential side effects. Kim took down the post amid the backlash from fans. Two years later, a team of medical experts published a news analysis highlighting evidence that showed the pill could actually be ineffective and concluded that it was a waste of money. Even so, Kim promoted the brand once again in April 2017 and then again in July 2017. She also uploaded a plug for another drug created to combat morning sickness called Bongesta in June 2018, but deleted that one an hour later. Kim has been slammed numerous times over the years for promoting a series of dye products on her Instagram, including meal replacement shakes, and detox teas, and appetite suppressant lollipops. In the comment section of her post, Instagram users branded Kim as disgusting and blasted her for not doing research on the products that she promotes.